tender, juicy, delicious lamb along with potatoes cooked in a spicy red gravy. Hi everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Today I will be making a delicious Indian style red lamb curry in my instant pot pressure cooker. You can even make this in any regular pressure cooker. So let's get started. Here I have taken about 9 large garlic cloves and a 2 inch piece of ginger which I have peeled and chopped. Put them in a blender jar along with a few tablespoons of water and blend to a smooth paste. Chop one large onion very finely. Here I have peeled 3 large potatoes and cut them into halves. Heat a pan over medium-low heat, add 2 teaspoons of coriander seeds and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. I didn't add any oil, just dry roast them on low heat for a few seconds by shaking the pan from time to time till you get this beautiful fragrance of the spices. You can also use store-bought ground coriander and cumin. I love to roast my spices fresh, so I am doing it in this way. Do not let the spices turn too brown as they will taste bitter. After that take them out immediately and grind them in a mortar and pestle or in a spice grinder. Set your instant pot to saute mode, press on adjust and set it on more. Once your pot is hot add about 5 tablespoons of oil. Here I have taken boneless pieces of lamb, you can even use bone in pieces. Lay them in a single layer for some time, then start stirring. Stir till the color changes from red to brown. As you can see the color has now changed to brown, so I am going to take them out in a bowl. Now here I have taken a dried bay leaf, an inch length of cinnamon stick, six green cardamoms and four cloves. Add them to the oil and stir them for a few seconds. Then add the chopped onions. Fry them till they turn golden brown in color. This will take about five to six minutes. My onions have browned up nicely, now I am going to add the ginger garlic paste. Fry them for a few minutes, then add the fried lamb. Stir from time to time so that the lamb gets well fried with those onions, ginger and garlic. In the meantime, I have taken about 5 tablespoons of plain unflavored yogurt. I will be adding some spices to it. 3 teaspoons of paprika, you can even use Kashmiri red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or red chilli powder, 2 teaspoons of salt and then add the ground cumin and coriander powder. Add about 1 fourth of a cup of water to it and stir very well. Stirring the yogurt with water will prevent it from curdling once it hits the hot pot. So always stir your yogurt very well before adding it to a hot pan. Now press the cancel button of your instant pot as you will be adding the yogurt. Sometimes the yogurt curdles as soon as it hits the hot pan. So I always switch off the heat while adding the yogurt. Here you can see the lamb is well fried and all the water that had rendered out earlier, all that water has evaporated. This is the right time to add the yogurt. With my instant pot switched off, I will add the yogurt little at a time. Stir after each addition. If you add your yogurt in this way, you will always get a smooth gravy and your yogurt will never curdle. 
After you are done adding all the yogurt, switch your instant pot back on saute mode and keep it on normal heat. Add about a teaspoon of sugar to balance the flavor and some freshly ground black pepper. Keep on stirring till the yogurt starts to thicken up. See the gravy has thickened up now, so I will be adding the potatoes. Mix the potatoes with all that goodness and now add a cup of warm water. You may go up to 2 cups of water if you want more gravy. And just look at that color. It already looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? Now it is time for the instant pot to do its job. Put on the lid and adjust the weight on ceiling position. Press the cancel button to switch off the saute mode. Press manual and adjust the time by pressing the plus button. My family likes the lamb to be very soft so I adjusted it to 45 minutes. You can do it for lesser time as well by just pressing the meat or stew button. Once the instant pot is done with its cooking, press the cancel button and allow it to release its pressure naturally. As you can see the pin has gone down that means all the pressure has been released. So now I am going to open the lid. And look at that beautiful color. I want to further reduce the gravy so I switched on the saute mode one more time. You do not have to do this if you are satisfied with the amount of gravy. The choice is all yours. Add 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder. Do a taste test at this point. I felt it needed a little bit of sweetness so I added about half a teaspoon of sugar. Now switch off your instant pot and serve this with hot rice, chapati or naan. Please check out my other recipes and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Eat healthy and stay healthy. Bye bye.